In this video, we're going to talk a bit about how you can scale edit curves in OpenVSP. And really what you're doing is adjusting the width and height and even the area or the height to width ratio. So just like with other cross-section types in OpenVSP, the width and the height are, of course, design parameters that you can choose, but you can also lock in the area or the height to width ratio. But let's take a look at how this actually matters. Notice that the width and the height are different and we have an ellipse here on the screen. So if we set those to be equal, what's really happening is your coordinates down here are being stretched to show the representation as if it was already transformed out here. If we view absolute, you can see that. So as we come through and do something like setting the width to be rather skinny, you'll notice that down here in the table, none of our coordinates are actually changing. This is still a parametric circle in the XY space here in the plot. This is just scaling to show you what it looks like. And so rather than thinking of width and height as the physical dimensions of the sections, think of them as scale parameters. So from minus 0.5 to 0.5 is unit width, minus 0.5 to 0.5 is unit height. The scale that you are applying to those dimensions are width and height here. So as it turns out, you can actually drag this over to say one and round about minus one. Okay, you could recreate a circle on this plot, but now it's actually bigger. So you've given it a unit two or a, a two length width and now scale that by 1.5. This is actually three wide now. You can see how it's important to try and maintain an idea of where your control points are in the coordinate space and track how width and height are scaling those coordinates. So you can think of this as a process of linear transformations to these coordinates as opposed to a strict definition of width and height. So let's take a look a bit more about the controls that we have available to us. And in fact, let's just reinitialize this circle and get back to what we had. Now, if you notice that, like I mentioned, we can control this cross section by the area, you know, that seems relatively fine. This is a circle, who cares? But what if we turn this into some weird squashed shape? Now watch what's happening. I'm dragging this control point around and turning it into this very odd kind of wonky shape. And you can see that what's happening is the area is remaining constant and the height is remaining fixed. So just because I'm dragging this around, it had to recompute where to put the, the width and, and move these things around. But because in fact, all of these curves in edit curve are closed boundaries in XY space, the integral on the inside can be calculated and you can get the area. That also works backwards. And so with the area fixed, it can iterate and tell you what the width should be. Now, for anyone that's defining things like flow through components or sectional components that need a specific area at a cross section and some other constraint like height, for example, you can see that you can come in and manipulate where these are. And very quickly, it's automatically adjusting the other parameters to give you the shape that you need and maintain a constant area. So this is an extraordinarily powerful feature of OpenVSP.